humpback whales usually travel in groups of two or three. But why are they behaving so differently off the coast of South Africa? A supergroup is a group of 20 to 200 humpback whales in very close proximity and have only ever been found in South African waters. Humpback whales live in every ocean, inhabiting polar feeding grounds in the summer and migrating to warmer areas near the equator where they breed during the winter season. Migration can cover thousands of kilometers, up to 1,500 kilometers a month. Most humpback whale populations around South Africa travel from Antarctica to Gabon and Angola, with almost no rest along the way. When returning to Antarctic waters from the breeding ground, a large proportion of individuals will pause their migration to feed in South African waters and form supergroups that are most often seen from October to February. Oh look, that's krill, the tiny crustaceans that humpback whales eat. Humpback whales can eat as much as four tons of krill per day. They swallow a mouthful of water containing their prey and filter out the food from the water with a baleen, a behavior known as gulp feeding. Adult whales will feed on krill during the summer, but they do not eat throughout the winter when they are migrating, calving and breeding. They subsist on their fat stores after the feeding season. The most common behavior in supergroups is feeding. Feeding in such large groups is extremely unique for this species. Humpbacks can show some very active, acrobatic and playful behavior. While they are feeding, they are often breach, where they jump out of the water. They also make deep dives, which can last up to 15 minutes, but will also make short and consecutive dives. We, Sea Search Research and Conservation, are working on research questions like why do we only see supergroups in South African waters? Why are they forming and how are they forming? Possible reasons for this behaviour could be due to increased population size, changes in prey distribution or cultural learning at feeding areas. Yet it remains difficult to investigate the behaviour of these creatures. Humpback whales are well known for their characteristic song, which can travel several kilometers. They also produce a lot of different non-song calls. Some calls are probably used to help keep close contact with each other, especially during group formation. However, the function of non-song calls is poorly understood. Humpbacks are now considered as least concern on the IUCN Red List. Last century, Humpback whales in the southern hemisphere were killed almost to extinction by commercial whaling. But now, after the ban on whaling was passed in 1986, they have been increasing to almost their pre-whaling numbers and they are probably more than 60,000 animals. Do you want to learn more about our ocean and marine life? Take a look on our Facebook, Instagram and our website.